<laughs> Back. All right, what's up, peoples? Um, I'm taking too fast, too smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too fast, too smooth bike. He's taking my bike for a spin. It's, he wanted me to try it. Yeah. I'm not gonna go crazy. It's not my bike. <laughs> oh, the brake is different. Okay, it's totally different. This is a GSXR 1000. Okay. Yeah, this is different. All right. The front end is lowered. He's trying to figure out everything. Jeez. Okay. It's all right. So he's riding my bike. And uh, I'm riding his GSXR. I don't know what year this is. I, I want to say it's an 09, maybe. Maybe it's no 12 or 13. I'll get the I'll get the information and throw it up here. But he wanted to go take a quick ride. I know it's late at night and it's kind of dark. I ain't even got my jacket on. So, but he wanted to take a quick spin and try out my BMW. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go out and enjoy it. But he was like, nah, bring my bike too. And I was like, all right, fine. So this is what we're doing. And this bike is actually very comfortable. Man, I need to change out my seat. I have no mirrors. <laughs> I'm not used to it. It's a, the throttle has a little slack, so I'm not used to it. It's not as tight as mine. But it's so funny how these bikes are kind of the same but different. Man, this, the raw power on this. I kind of low-key miss the raw power of a straight-up bike with not too much electronics on it. This is comfy, though. It's got the raw power to it, like a lot of low-end torque. I'm wondering what he's saying about mine, <laughs> just out of curiosity. The engine braking on mine is much more extreme. It means okay i see what it means with the uh, quick shifter using it just kind of blipping the throttle itself and just bringing it down that's pretty dope yeah there's a lot of low-end torque on this thing i hate that he doesn't have mirrors jeez i can't look behind me oh, shit. there's cops <laughs> Push forward. He's not used to the electronics, so he's going nuts with it. Alright. Don't know what he said, but I'm just gonna follow him. The Trickster definitely has a lot of low-end power. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's very different, very different. It's crazy how the characteristics of the two are just so very much different. The front end has been lowered, so it's kind of, it's very different from what I'm used to. I have to look back. I hate that I have to look back. I can't be without mirrors. I cannot. I keep looking for mirrors and I can't do it. Like, ah. I feel like I'm back, I'm back on the Ducati. But this bike is super comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, right? Uh-huh. I was trying to hit it in first, and I felt this. Like it was more to scale. I said, you know what, let me not do it. Because I know this is going. I can hammer it, and it won't come up. No, uh, yeah. But stock wheel base, no, I can't do that. I got to take it easy. This one's different. The raw power on this is different from yeah. that. So I'm like, I could ease it on it. If I were to ride it like, like I would ride it with load, I'd be hitting the shit. Yeah. This, no technology, just straight power. It's straight power, yeah. This is like... You know what, you got a little crackhead, but I'm going to control it for you. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's electronic, like there's no, um, it's not wire by wire. Yeah. So I can definitely feel it. It's, it takes a little bit to get used to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the front brakes, on point. I told right you. Right here, yeah, I felt flat. that. It was like, 
it dreaded a stop. It's because like even though the caliber says BMW, the, the parts inside of it is uh is, is Brembo. It's Brembo? Yep. Damn. That's wrong. That power is flat. The this strap, if you want to pull it and try to hit it, it won't lift up as much. This one, like, I, as soon as I hit the throttle like this, it's like, oh, okay, well, we're it's going. It's right power. Yeah, it's right That's there. A, I would say, if you if you want, pull the strap. Yeah. So it will, it will compress the force. Gotcha. Yeah. So I you're like. I feel it, like, it's like kind of more, more like this. Yeah. So if you pull it and like, hit the brake, like, go and hit brake. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. It'll compress it. No, I don't want it like that, but I know it's lower. I can see it. But yeah, no. But it should <laughs> is comfortable. I told you. <laughs> it is. I told you. Even though it's taller, this this bag is great. I just flip, I can't flip for the mine. Yeah. I'm like. Yeah, I can't flip. I'm five eleven. This is completely flat foot. It's lower than about an inch and a quarter. In the really? front only. You didn't do nothing with the back. Nope. All front. Just front. Shit. Yeah, bro. Oh. This is sounds good. It sounds like a jitter. Uh, that sound. That was fun. I still have a headache. This bike sounds really freaking good. My bike is very quiet, which I like. I, you know, I, I enjoy that. This thing is different because of the setup, the way he has it. He has it set up for drag racing. I hate that I have to look over. If I'm still recording, am I still recording? Okay. Cobra Mecca, boy. I'm pretty sure you're proud of me riding a Jixxer. <laughs> Let's go. Between Cobra Mecca and Two Wheel Twansy, I'm pretty sure that them two was, they're happy. They're like, ah, how do you feel about a Jixxer now, huh, buddy? <laughs> I still love my BMW. My baby is my baby. Yeah, so this is, this is totally different from from what I, from the norm with all the electronics and stuff like that, the raw power behind it is kind of nostalgic where I remembered how back in the day these bikes were. It was just raw power, no big electronics to it, just straight up power, delivery, that's it. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. So this thing, I'll do a quick walk around so you guys can see it. But yeah, man, it's crazy. This, this bike is so much fun. It really is. I just hate the fact that he doesn't freaking have mirrors. I gotta turn around. This riding position is super comfy. The seat is very comfortable. I need to change the seating position. Not the seating position, but change the seat itself. There's a lot to say, but not much to say. Like this thing is fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun. I wish we could have done this during the daytime where we can actually see the bikes and see what's going on. I know it's nighttime. I'm pretty sure that this footage is gonna be crap, but I'll work with what I got and see because I wasn't I was this was not planned and usually planned film unplanned filming is usually a lot of fun they come out pretty good uh, make sure you guys also also follow me on TikTok and Instagram which is the same name as my YouTube channel I upload a lot of short videos to make it fun and entertaining and just kind of do different things so uh yeah that'll be it thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for being part of the Sasso Moto family you guys stay safe stay humble I'll talk to you guys in the next one peace Thank <laughs> you.